welcome back to the girly girl bookworm so i understand today is not sunday by the way i just wanted to wear this because it's nice and cozy and it's still pretty cold where i live unfortunately but it's supposed to be 50s this weekend so i'm really looking forward to that but that's not what this video is about <laughs> so i'm just gonna get right into it um I mentioned in my last video that I'm going on another book buying ban and I decided that I wanted to make a video explaining how I do my book buying bans. I've been seeing a lot of people going on book buying bans, I don't know why I air quoted that, but they've been going on book buying bans and making videos about how, they're, how they do it and what their rules are and I thought I would share with you my rules. So... Many of you have known in the past where I've said, oh, I'm doing Project 10, or I'm doing Project 15, I'm doing Project 20, you know, and I never really explained what that meant. And if you, I used to watch Beauty Gurus way before I ever got introduced to bo to BookTube, I almost said BoobTube, sorry, <laughs> um, BookTube, um, so... There, I saw people doing a Project 10, no, like a Project No Buy, like a Project 10 No Buy. Can I talk today? No. Um, where that would mean they had to use like 10 beauty products completely up before they could buy new beauty products. Oh my goodness, today's talking, not working. Um, so before they could buy new um, mascara or whatever. So then I took the idea and I was like, you know what, I can apply that to books. So Project 10 would be like, I have to read 10 books before I could buy books. Or Project 20, I have to read 20 books of my own before I could buy new books. And so forth. So this time, coming around, I'm doing a Project 50. Somebody thought I said 15, like 1-5 direction 1 5 no I am doing project 50 so that means 5 0 um, and I decide my numbers based on about how many books I think I could get through like I used to st I started off with project 10 just to see if I could do it and I beat it a couple times doing project 10 this past time was the only time that I beat project 20 um, usually I end up failing miserably. Um, so I take a look at how many books I have, and as you know, like you've seen my recent book hauls, I, ha I had 20 books in my last book haul, and I have 12 coming in the mail, so, and I already had a whole bunch in my pile after Project 20 still. So I decided that 50 would be a more accurate number, so that'll take me about three to four months before I could buy books again. Um, what I do to try to keep myself on track and on goal is, for example, like this um, list right here, I have Project 50 and I tally it. So I've already read three books towards my Project 50. Um, did I throw my other one away? Um, yeah, I think I threw my other one away, but I had one for Project 20 where I had all my t tally marks to keep track. And, um, obviously I watch my videos to keep me thinking, okay, those are books in my haul and I should read them. And now I think what's really been helping me is my TBR, um, because I've been sticking to my TBR lately. So I feel like if I force myself to read those, then I have to read those before I can buy more. I don't know. It's just, I try to intrinsically motivate myself and, like, I constantly, like, I feel bad for my parents. I'm constantly like, oh, I've only got five more books left and, like... You know, so, like, I try to motivate myself and get other people involved to help me stick to my goal. I don't let myself cheat. I saw somebody saying that they're going to let themselves have one cheat, like, they're in the bookstore and they have to buy the book. If I buy the book, I'm done. My, my book buying ban has failed, and I have to start over. Like, um, there was one time where I was doing Project 20, and it turned into a Project 10, and that was fine. I bought books, and I was done book by man failed and then I started over so like um this past time it wasn't exactly like a cheat um I finished the book that I was reading the 20th book like the next day after I ordered books but that was like I had already started it like it was just to get in that sale 
and usually I don't let myself do that. Like, if I had been, like, ten books, if I had been, like, five books short, I wouldn't have let myself buy. Um, it was just the fact that I was already going to be ordering from that website anyways when my book buying panel was done, and I was that close to being done that I let myself do it, which was stupid because the next day, I got an email saying, oh, by the way, the sale has been extended, and I was like, no, I could have stayed true. But I still don't count that as cheating. Um, I saw somebody saying that they only let themselves buy new releases because that way they'll stay current in their, um, booktubing. And honestly, like, I feel like I'm not a very current person anyways. Like, I do read books that are popular, but I don't feel like I read them while everybody else is reading them. Like, unless it's, like, a series that I've already been reading or something like that. But, like, I don't feel like I have to have my hands on the new release the second it comes out. Like, there's a lot of new releases that are coming out within the next few months that I will die for, but I will not let myself break my book by man just because of new releases and I want to stay current. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, I really don't let myself have too many cheats. Like, I'm very, I don't know, I'm telling myself I'm going to do a Project 50, but I really don't know if I will be able to stick with that goal. That is my main goal. There's a chance I'll break it. If I break it and I cheat, I'm starting over. Like, like I've said before. Um, I can't think. I keep looking at, like, books to help me, like, think of my ideas. Um. But, yeah, that's what I do. I, like I said, I'm very, like, a cold turkey, like, cut it off. The second you buy, you're done. No cheating allowed. Um, yeah, I hope you guys got some ideas of what to keep you motivated on your book buying bans. Or an idea of how to start a book buying ban. Um, there's something else I was going to say. Now I can't remember. I don't know. It just... My advice, though, is don't feel bad about yourself if you do break your book buying ban because I know there's so many times where I've done this and I have not succeeded and I have failed. I mean, I even have videos where it's, I broke my book buying ban. So, totally, like, it's acceptable and it's okay to break it and it's not the end of the world. But, um, yeah, I just hope that you find some inspiration, get some books read that are on your shelf because... That's why you bought them in the first place. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye, everyone.